just say for the record that you know when Colin talks about having a five-second you know, short-term memory, the only reason that I help him out in that class is because I have a ten-second short-term memory. <laughs> about the same difficulty for me to remember this kind of thing. Twice. Yeah, exactly. Uh, honestly, it's just yeah, there's a lot of satisfaction being such a long-term player of AO and having gone around and yeah you know, experienced the game you know on the ground as it were, and then realizing you wait a minute I remember the typo in that game he sees he thought I can go ahead and fix that and you know, just go away for five minutes and a quick typo somewhere fixing the icon that's broken. It's the little bitty things that I get to do on a weekly basis that add that extra little step of polish to the game that are really to me satisfying. I can't nail down any one in particular, but it's all those little things that I get to change. The tiny things. So you want like the time students. Did we ever fix the fun reel or did you fix the fun reel? I just wanted to do that. So there used to be an item called the funeral urn. But then you got a, a, a pet up. Yeah. There's a fun reel for us. For Any other questions? Oh god, what are you looking at? Research them, yes. Do you have any plans or are there any plans uh, for uh, clan omni neutral uh, planetary politics? Anything story related? I mean, there used to be a lot more activity in that area years ago, and we even see these characters from time to time appearing and, you know, staging events. The event characters are still being logged in. They're still being logged in. There are still events going on. Um, a lot of it really relies on the interest of the player to get involved. Uh, it's not necessarily going to be as prominent as it used to be, simply because we don't have the staff we used to. I mean, you're talking about giant events that happen around the time of Shadowlands. You not only had Mark support, but you had Funcom support as many, many times as we have right now. The overarching storyline of Anarchy Online is something that I have a lot of interest in. I was with the Arguments team for a very long time myself, uh, and it's one of the reasons why I ended up moving to the Arguments team to join the team. We're kind of at a bit of a lull right now in terms of where we can go, because in order to drive further story based content this game, we have to have the content to build around it. Um, with us trying to put our focus on making our field line more stable as a basis for right now, that's not really giving us much in the way of additional content to add in to supply a new generation to the storyline with. There are a lot of details and documents that I have floating around my desktop for exactly what I want to do and where I want to go with AM. Uh, I've had these for years, and I still want to do them. The problem is just finding the time and finding the content to build it around. Uh, the Archimedes guys that I work with are very excited by a lot of the ideas that I've had, and I know they're also just gnawing fit to get on them. Uh, and I'm hoping that we can bring more into light as time goes on. I would like to say, just to anybody here, of course, anybody out there watching at home, if you have an interest in the storyline of Energy Online and want to help us, the Archimedes team is looking for members. We're always happy to have people helping us out to help build and create these wonderful storylines and characters that still the world to come. I would love to see more people helping us out. Uh, and if any of you guys have any interest in that, by all means, please send an application to join our Archimedes team. And they don't help us out. We can make more storylines for more people in the It's just a matter of buying the time and the interest. So, talk to Brad today. Yes. Yes, sir. How do you pronounce K Y R apostrophe O Z C? Indian mythology. Uh, those names were decided on the, the year that I arrived working at, at Funcom seven years ago. It didn't uh, so answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> the, the best we, the best that I know of is Kirok. Uh, if it's something else, I heard, but that's just what I always go. So I, I don't try that hard. I just feel here's all guy. I don't know. Like, aliens. aliens. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yes? I just have a comment. I petitioned this a while ago. I had a nice, a nice conversation with a really nice team. I can't remember who it was. She might be here. <laughs> but uh, I just this would is, like this to... Is just a second. We'll do this real fast. This is a GM Shadow God right here. Yay. This is a GM Gix over there. Yay. And behind uh, GM Gix is the... Uh, EJ, who actually runs the customer service department, does a fantastic job. So that's a really good job. Yeah. So I just would like to remind you guys that there really are 
real girls playing the game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> really, truly. And, and some of us actually like pretty things or shiny things, <laughs> sparkly things like this. I swear one of my favorite things in the game is the engineer buff that makes me all sparkly. No. <laughs> This is a uh, cute Rob uh, Millis. What is this? Oh, I was close. Miles. <laughs> Last name. <laughs> we, uh, we've had him making a uh, poor guy. Uh, Rob, Rob just turned twenty in, during his internship, and we had him making wedding dresses, <laughs> new shoes, purses, <laughs> a party tent. <laughs> The poor guy got here and immediately started making like a tank armor set. It was like, that's great, you know what you can make next? <laughs> it takes a real man. Oh He's done a star great job. The bridesmaids' dresses are suitably hideous. So we are putting stuff like that in game as well. Hideous? Of course they're hideous. It's a seafoam green. <laughs> Supposed to be. Uh, <laughs> anybody else? Yes. Uh, oh, you can make me uh, about the engine again. Uh, when you do, uh, do, do play the Beatles on, on, on my home test Uh, I imagine that it's it's stuff to it's stuff to tell. I imagine we'll have uh, kind of. Regular sort of population, five hundred, that kind of thing. will be into uh, the new engine location first. We can't just kind of open it up to sort of everybody uh, right at the very beginning. Or what will happen is we'll just get it's kind of like too much noise uh, to content. It would be just thousands of comments, and it would be very difficult for us to process actual information out of that. So the the first beta is going to be very limited. It won't be on test slide. Yep. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. Yeah. We, yes. we so, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> we we know who you are. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So close, close, limited beta first to make sure most of the issues are are taken care of. Then a larger kind of uh, larger open beta, I would think, to make sure we've got the, the issues, and then it'll be uh, migrated to the, the live servers. God willing. <laughs> uh, at some point, hopefully, in the near future. The uh, old obsolete content in the game. I'm sure I can't quite hear you. The old obsolete content, like the old weapons and stuff that nobody uses. Yeah. Is there any future plans for that? Before the I think the most of the shop food is going to stay shop food. Uh, it would. That's one of the difficult parts of, of AO in general. And for someone who's we're used to it, we know what we're looking for, right? But if you you come in fresh and you, you, you've got the weapon you started with, the first one you find, you assume it's going to be better than what you got. So you, you, you put it on and all pleased with yourself, and you run around for the next 10 levels until you meet up with another player, and they look at you and go, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of the other games out there, that's becoming kind of a universal standard at this point. You've got kind of gray and then white stuff, and then green stuff and blue stuff and purple stuff. It's, it's, it's got to the point where most of the products out there are doing that. Kind of We've still got, oh, it's been long cooled down. Uh, it's at the point now where, or excuse me, within our product and everything is, is white or I guess green, but everything, uh, it's, it's near impossible to tell what's good and what's not. So you really have to be able to look at forums and do research and figure out what you're using, but it's, it's not user friendly.